Hi everyone, Jordi here from Yepper Design and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to create this cover flow effect which is from the Macintosh operating system where you can browse through your media. Okay, um, So let me just show you how to create this in Premiere Pro. Here is the video playing. Okay, Looking pretty good. Uh, let's get started now. I've got uh, three pictures. Pick one, two and three. Uh, I'm going to start by creating a new uh, sequence, let's say a new sequence for each uh, picture that we have, or video, you can also do this with a video of course. Okay, I'm going to pick widescreen here, and I'm going to name it picture one. Okay, uh, I'm going to drag my pick one into my timeline from the picture one sequence. Let's scale it a bit. I'm going to click on it, go to motion, and scale it down, something like, I don't know, 35, something like that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna control or command C it, or you can right click and say copy, and then I'm just gonna paste it. Okay, uh, control V or command V for paste. And so I've duplicated this uh, video layer here. So we've got it two times. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're gonna say um, vertical flip which is under transform video effects. Uh, I'm gonna drag it onto, if it doesn't really matter, onto my, on the above one, on the one on top. Okay, um, then I'm going to um, linear wipe, which can be found under video effects transition. Linear wipe also on the top. Uh, now we're gonna position the top layer one. So I'm uh, gonna change the position. So it's beneath it, so we got this shade effect. So it's reflecting. Okay, um, doesn't really matter wh where you position it, something like that. Um, then we go to linear wipe, uh, go to transition. Here you can see we can, we can crop it actually. I'm um, gonna change the wipe angle to zero, a uh, little bit more transition, something like that. And then I'm just gonna feather it, feather it enough, something like that, maybe, maybe more, 200, yeah, something like that. That you too. Uh, now, if you want, you can also change the opacity to I don't know 50 if you want that. So it's more in, into the glass. Okay, Let, let's do it like that. Uh, or let's no, let's just give it 80. Okay. Um, now we're just gonna do the same with picture two and picture three. Just gonna right click, new composition sequence. Uh, gonna call this picture two. And here's the trick, uh, if you open up picture one, uh, I'm sorry, I go to picture two, drag your picture two into your uh, sequence, okay, right click it, say copy, gonna paste it, gonna drag it on top of it, so we've duplicated it, and now we're just gonna uh, go back to our picture one, gonna select the one on the above layer, so if we do channel two, gonna select them all, say command A or control A, say control C, Go back to our picture two, the first one, we're gonna select all the effects here, say Ctrl V. See we already got uh, the one on top now. Go back to our picture one, I'm gonna select the one beneath it. Go to my effect control, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, or command, uh, go back to my picture two, Ctrl A, Ctrl V. Okay, so we got the same things. And we're gonna do the same thing for sequence number three. Okay, there we go. All three pictures have been done. Um, I'm going to create a new uh, sequence now, so a new item sequence. And this is going to be the setup, because here are we going to animate everything. So we're going to select my three sequences from the pictures. I'm going to drag it into my timeline. I'm going to scale it up. Okay, I'm going to drag my picture two on top of here. Uh, my picture tree on here, and then I'm gonna select them all and move in them one up because we're gonna create a background. Okay, I'm gonna right click and say new item color mat. Okay, I'm gonna choose for a uh, white color, ba white background. I'm gonna call it BG for background. Drag it onto it, and here we go. Okay, um, now let's change some positions here. Um, Make sure that the one is which is on top, in this case picture tree, is gonna start on the front. Okay. Um 
So we're just gonna scale up the motion a bit here. Let's say 113%. Okay, then we go to picture two, and I'm gonna change this position. Okay, so we're just gonna move it up to something like here. Okay, then I go to my picture two, and I'm gonna do the same somewhere around here. Okay, um, now I go to, oh yeah, one, one more thing for uh, the for the pictures behind the one on top. Uh, we're gonna change the opacity for those. So I'm just gonna make them 50%, okay? Gonna do the same for uh, the other one. 50 percentage, okay? Now let's go to basic 3D effect, which can be found under video effects, perspective, basic 3D, and I'm just gonna drag them on all of them, okay? So picture one, two, and three as well. Um, for picture 2, I'm going to change the basic 3D right now. The picture 3 is a dark in this case. And I'm going to change the swivel, you see? We can swivel it this way. And I'm going to make it uh, 45 degrees. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for my picture 1, which is the uh, uh, the little frog, I think it is. Um, <coughs> Also, uh, 45 degrees. I'm gonna position them it, a little bit more to the right side, something like that. Uh, picture two, can I come a little bit closer now? Something like that. Yeah, that should do it. Okay. Uh, so here we already have uh, the first setup. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to animate the whole bunch. So we go a bit forward in time. Let's say after one second, so we'll just in our time code right here. Uh, I go to my uh, picture tree and we're going to animate the position, the scale, the uh, up to C, uh, there we go, and the basic GT swivel. Okay, let's go one, two, three, four, five frames forward. You can see it here in our time code. And we're going to change the position now to somewhere around here. Okay, we can always re change it. Uh, gonna scale back to 100, no normal size. Gonna make the opacity 50. I'm gonna swivel it minus 45 in this case. Okay, um, let me just check it out somewhere around, something around here. That should do it. That should be a good position. Okay, go back four five frames one, two, three, four, five. Go to picture number two. And I'm gonna change the position of it. The my picture number two is the dark. I'm gonna change the scale, I'm gonna change the opacity, I'm gonna change the swivel. Go back one, two, three, four, five frames forward. I'm gonna change now the uh, opacity, uh, I mean the scale to 130. I'm gonna position it right. Something like here. Um, the up to C is going to be 100% and the swivel is gonna be zero. Okay, gonna position it a little better. Something like that. All right, go back one, two, three, four, five. Go to my picture number one, which is the little frog. Um, we're only gonna change the position in for this one. Okay, go one, two, three, four, five, and we're just gonna position it a little better. So it's moved. Okay, there we go. This is our first animation. Now, as you see. Uh, picture number three, the salamander or something, is still on top, and we can all and we can also see it in the picture. So what we're gonna do is on the last frame where we've animated, where we've keyframed it, uh, we're just gonna cut in the video. So we're gonna take the razor tool and cut everything on that position. And now we're gonna change the uh, picture two, which is on the top, on the top. Okay, so we're just gonna do that. Picture three is going down. So now we see that picture two is on the top. Okay, let me just play it now. Whoa, cool. Here is the first step of our cover flow. Okay, looking very good. And uh, now we can just do the same, uh, or you can do the next step, I mean. Uh, go a little bit further in time and just animate the, again, the three ones, uh, the, the, the three pictures uh, with not another position. Okay, uh, so let me just go to my, uh, other one where I've already created this uh, several times here. Then if th when this is done, you're just gonna right click, say new item, say uh, sequence, and say um, give it a name, say final. Okay, 
uh, this is my final composition and I'm gonna drag my setup into it well that's very easy you just take the first uh, the main uh, sequence you copy it and you just paste it so you got it two times in the same video channel you say r you right click it and you go to speed slash duration if you click on it you can think reverse speed on it so it will just reverse okay well that's basically it um, thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, I really hope you learned something out of this and don't forget to check out our website which is yepperdesign.com